Hey, test takers, got a question for you from the reading and writing test. Let's take a look. Practical movie effects, such as the use of actual locations in a film, provide a more realistic visual experience than computer-generated imagery, or CGI, does. But giving audiences the real thing can be prohibitively expensive. Blank, many filmmakers use a blended approach, employing practical effects whenever possible and CGI elements as necessary to control costs. Which choice completes the text with the most logical transition? Okay, so this is a transitions question. So I'm gonna figure out what's happening on either side of the blank and then make a prediction about what connects them. So what have we got? Practical effects are good, but expensive, prohibitively expensive, in fact, uh, relative to CGI, that's the claim. Blank, filmmakers use a combination of both, practical effects when possible, and CGI to save money. Put aside any opinions you might have about movies, focus on the argument. This is a cause-effect relationship, right? Problem, practical effects burn money. Solution, use them as often as possible without breaking the bank. What connects these things? I'm going to say, therefore. The real thing is spendy but good. Therefore, I'm going to use it where I can without ruining the budget. That's my predictions. Which one of these transitions matches, therefore, a cause or effect relationship? Let's check the choices. Uh, in other words, nah, that doesn't match therefore. For this reason? Yeah, that's a therefore kind of transition. For this reason, the reason being the real thing is expensive, many filmmakers used a blended approach. Okay, I'm 100% sure this is our, our answer, but let's keep looking. Um, similarly, choice C, nah, not therefore. Furthermore, ooh, that's tough because it sounds like therefore, but furthermore just means and. It and similarly are both additive transitions, which makes it even easier to eliminate them both. If two answers match one another, that means neither can be right. So they must both be equally wrong. Done and done. B is our answer. Good luck out there. You've got this.